We have a new disturbance in the southwestern Gulf and it can be making a run for tropical storm status with winds now 40 miles per hour, pressure of 1,004 millibars as of the midnight eastern time this October 18. Currently the disturbance is projected to make a landfall near Sunnyside, Florida just west of Mexico Beach as a stage 1 on the CDPS where the main threat is going to be rain. We did see 2 to 4 inches of rain come out of this as this is not really going to be anticipated to be a major weather event due to how small it's going to be. It is at 24.1 degrees north, 93.7 degrees west. Again, stage 1 on the CDPS. Minor damage is expected where it does going to go. It is almost a borderline stage 2, so we will have to keep an eye on this to see how much stronger it's going to get. It is 532 miles from New Orleans, 586 from Gulfport, 667 from Pensacola, 697 from Destin, and 712 miles in Sunnyside, Florida. We do have warnings already up across the south. We have tropical storm warnings from the Mississippi-Alabama border to Yankee Town, Florida, Grand Isle, Louisiana to the Pearl River, and storm surge warnings from Indian Pass to Clara Water, Florida. Now getting into the rainfall forecast, we will see this disturbance traverse across the central Gulf, picking up some moisture along the way before dumping it over most, primarily the central full of tight handle area. Those darker grays indicative of three inches of rain per hour across those areas. And we will see that rainfall go up in through Georgia, across the Carolinas, and maybe into North Carolina by the time we do get into early next week. Sea surface temperatures for this disturbance are looking really good for it right now. 28, 29 degrees Celsius is where it's at. As it does start moving towards the northeast, it will start getting into cooler waters, but those waters are still going to be favorable for maintaining some tropical cyclone development. Now, getting into the forecast, what you're really going to be looking for is to seeing those greens come up on the track. Guidance that is where the tropical storm force winds are going to be at, and they're going to be few and far between as most models. Don't make this a very intense tropical storm at all. Most of them keeping it at a very minimal tropical storm, maybe 50 miles per hour at the most, is what the NAC is calling for. A few miles, maybe a little bit more bullish, but we'll get into that guidance once we do get into the models. But getting into the chance of tropical storm force winds, sunny side at 47%, Destin at 41%, Pensacola at 29%. Gulfport at 2% and New Orleans currently not anticipating any chance of tropical storm force winds, but that could change later on. And getting into the model guys, just about every model is keeping this as a tropical storm. A few models there, h Wharf and H-Mont, taking it to a very more intense tropical storm, almost 70 miles per hour. But I don't think that's going to happen, especially when you look at the wind shear. Wind shear is going to be going up over the next day or two. That's really going to be working against this system. And dry air is going to really start trending into it, watching those humidity levels drop from very favorable down to almost 40%. But getting into the visible imagery, you can see just how organ disorganized 16L is looking. You can't really pinpoint a center there. It does look like it is trying to build one just to the southwest of its central convection. But you can see on the water vapor imagery, there is a lot of dry air that is primarily going to be part of the steering current for this system as it is going to be pushing it towards the east, northeast, last movement did have it at northeast at 12 miles per hour. So overall this is really looking to be a very disorganized system overall. You can see some of the convection there well east of where there would be any center at. And again, this is uh, forecasted to be a really minor to moderate tropical storm. NAC projecting maybe 50 miles per hour. A couple of other models aren't even developing that much either. But rest assured, if you're anywhere along the Gulf Coast states, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, do keep an eye on this as this will be dumping some heavy rain, could lead some, to some minor to moderate flooding in and around those areas. And then if you're in Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, you do need to keep an eye on this as that rainfall is projected to come across those areas and could lead to some flooding in those areas as well. Keep an eye on this as we will you too and we'll have another update later on. Thank you for watching this production of Force 13. For more information about Force 13, you can reach us on all of our media outlets. Our website, force13.com, where we are revamping the website and writing new articles for your reading pleasure. We're also on YouTube at youtube.com forward slash force13. 
you could probably there already. If you are, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button to keep getting updates like these rolling into your mailbox. We're also on Facebook, keyword 413, where we'll post our articles and keep an eye out there for any live events that we may simulcast there. We're also on Twitter, keyword 413. And if you want to look swag like our own Nathan Four here, you can rock our colors by going to our store. Our store is store.force13.com, or you can continue directly to the project by way of the Patreon. More information about patronage and the privileges you can get from it can be found at patreon.com forward slash force13. And if you want to reach out to the project directly, you can reach out to us at force13 on Skype. Or you can hit me up directly at extension T Ren, extension 1375. Or you can hit that link in the bottom of the description to get to our Discord. That information also available at the end of this segment.